Elena Rabakina versus Elena Svetolina is the fourth quarter final for the ladies Wimbledon for 2024. Both players have a different rose to get to this stage. Svetolina entered the tournament as the number 21 seed and would take on Lynette in the first round. And after dropping the second set, would fight back to win. 7-5, 6-7, 6-3. In the second round, she'd take on Niemeyer, which is no problem getting through in straights. 6-3, 6-4. In the third round, she'd take on the number 10 seed, Jabur, who made the final here the last two years. And after a close second set, would get through in straights. 6-1, 7-6. In the fourth round, she'd take out Wong, who had beaten Pagula along the way. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-2 or 6-1 to advance to another Wimbledon quarterfinal. We're back in her into the tournament as the number four seed. We'll take on Rus, the qualifier in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-3, 6-1. In the second round, she'll take on Sigamund. And after dropping the second set, would win in three. 6-3, 3-6, 6-3. Third round, she'll take on Wozniacki, who had just beaten Fernandez in the previous round. And this was no problem for her back in her demolishing Wozniacki in straights. 6-love, 6-1. In the fourth round, she'll take on the number 17 seed, Kalinskaya, who she'd had some troubles with in the past. And after winning the first set, unfortunately, Kalinskaya would have to retire, handing the win to back in a 6-3-3 love retirement to advance to the quarterfinals. These two have played four times before with the head-to-head split down the middle 2-2 with their last match actually being at the French Open a month ago with Rabakina getting the straight sets win. However, they did play on the grass of Eastbourne and Rabakina also won that with three years ago. So all signs here point to Rabakina who is definitely the favorite to win this tournament at this stage. If Svetlana is going to win this one, she needs to get everything back and be super defensive at her defensive best if she's going to get anywhere near this sort of Rabakina. Rabakina has been so good this week. Only the elements have kind of worried her that was that match in the second round where she lost the set. But if she can get everything back and maybe frustrate Rebecca a little bit, who is known to get a little annoyed sometimes, maybe she's got a chance. Rebecca is going to win this one. She's going to be way better than against Kalinskaya. Even though she was winning against Kalinskaya, it was mainly because of the injury that Kalinskaya got. So if Rebecca is going to play like that, she's probably not going to do too well. So she needs to be a lot better and a lot cleaner than she was in her last match. This is an interesting one because Fedelina, very good at Wimbledon. Of course, we know what Rebecca has done at Wimbledon in the past. And that's why I've got to pick her in three sets. I think we're backing against this one in the three sets. I just think that the head-to-head, especially that grass match they played a few years ago, might give Rebecca that extra confidence in the fact they played the French Open and it was straight sets. I feel like it's going to be Rebecca in three, but let me know in the comments below who's going to make the semis.